In this video, I will show you how to do quanta regression in SAS. Before you watch this video, please watch my other video on quanta regression and another video on quanta regression example. I have opened up my SAS program here that you can download from my website and I have also executed it and here are the results. And we can go ahead and first look at the data, which you can also download from my website. So for this example, we have data on total health expenditures right here. And this will be our dependent variable. And you see this one is sorted in an increasing uh, order of total expenditures. And it varies from the number three to the number of 125,610. These are the total expenditures that people have. Then the independent variables that we will use are supplemental insurance, whether or not people have it, the total number of chronic conditions that people have, age, female, and white. These would be our independent variables. Okay, so the first thing to do is we're importing the data. We already did that and looked at it, and we can calculate uh, proc using proc means. We can calculate the script statistics, and you can look at the mean and minimum and maximum for the dependent variable and the independent variables. So for the OLS regression model, we're using PROC red, right? reading the data, and the model is total expenditure is our dependent variable, and all of these variables are our independent variables. So these are the results here. And I will concentrate on this coefficient here that we have for total number of chronic conditions. So we can see that as we have one more uh, total, uh, one more chronic condition, then we have that the total number of medical expenditures increases by $2,528. So this is the coefficient. We have one set of coefficients across all the quantiles because that's how OLS works. Now, if we would like to estimate a quantile regression, this is what we will do. When we use PROC quant reg, we will read in the data and model. This will be the dependent variable. And then all of these are our independent variables. And then we can put here quantile 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0.75. Now you can put any numbers here. And you could put like um, even 0 0.05 and 0 0.95, or you can put 0.1, 0.2, 0.3 to get um, the distribution along all the quantiles. And here are the results that we have here for the estimates. So I'm looking here at the first one, which is the 25th one. And you can see this is the 25th quantile here. And these are the estimates. And I will now concentrate on the same uh, coefficient that we looked before for the all last model. And the way to interpret this coefficient is now to say, at the 25th percentile of total medical expenditures, this is the 25th percentile, the dependent variable, we have that a one unit increase in X, which is total number of chronic conditions, would increase Y by $782. So the total number of expenditures would be increased by 782 Now notice also the confidence limits on this coefficient here. And if you notice this confidence uh, interval here does not include the 2000 something that we found as the coefficient from the OLS model. And therefore we find here this coefficient is also significantly different than the OLS coefficient. And it's very important that you point this out in a table or something like that in your analysis um, when, when you write up your paper or your results. The next thing is the 0.5 uh, of the 0.5 quantile. This is at the median. We have that the effect of the x variable and y variable is 1,332. So each additional number in chronic condition increase brings in 1,332 more dollars in total expenditures. Notice that, it, that it's increasing. It doesn't have to be, but in this case, it's increasing. And this confidence interval also does not include the OLS regression, so it's significantly different. Now, for the last one at the 0.75, we 
we have a coefficient of 2855 and this confidence interval now includes the OLS coefficient which means that this coefficient here at the very high quantile is not significantly different than the OLS. So that's a way to interpret those quantile regression coefficients. That's all I had for SAS. Thank you for watching.